J-Rock is here, it is time for the great one, the YouTube People's Channel. Oh, to do another Try Not To Laugh Challenge. We're back with that hilarious channel, the brother known as Joe Schmo. He has put together a Dr. Phil parody, Dr. Phil Farts. Can Dr. Phil break the great one? <laughs> Does that sound normative to you? No. That doesn't seem right. I've had a... I would... J-Rock hands come back to you too. What is happening in 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 with the millions? And millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, baby, J-Rock is here. Man, we got ourselves a fart parody of Dr. Phil uh, from that hilarious channel, Joe Schmo. All right, we're about to do this Try Not To Laugh Challenge. All right, you know the rule. If you break, timestamp where you broke and why. You also got to share this video on your favorite social media platform. And drop a link in the comments on where you shared it. And I'll give you a shout out if you do. Um, also, if you don't break, then you got to type that the smack was laid down. You feel me? All right. Also, make sure you lay the smack down on that subscribe button. All right. If you haven't done so already, on our way to 3,000 subscribers. All right. And also, if uh, you enjoy the content, hit that thumbs up button. And uh, hit that super thanks button for me as well. All right. We're not going to waste more time. J-Rock says this. Dr. Phil. Ja! I want to say some things to you about your daughter. Reparenting. So many parents have to op have the opportunity to reparent their child. So you guys need to redefine your relationship. How do we do that? Well, that's what she needs to have. And is she going to be unhappy about it? Yes. Yes. Extremely. Yeah. This is what she's going to do at home. You know, there's something called... You, you just described me. Yes. Does that sound normative to you? No. That doesn't seem right. I've had a conversation with Bridget. Oh, God. Uh, why she continues to let Grace go with Kevin and Carrie. And then I've also had a discussion with Carrie why she hasn't put a stop to Kevin seeing Grace. You say there are times that... What, what, are, you, what are you thinking? Tell me what you tell me what you're thinking. I think that's insane. Everything about this is so important. You put whipped cream on your and told her to lick it off. I think it looks a whole lot worse than it is. But what I'm trying to impact upon you is how bad it looks. I I agree. There are things that look weird. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, well, at this point, I'm work, I'm, I would like to know what you think. Personally, I think the best thing that ever happened to you is happening to you right now. Everybody has pronouns. Like, you may use he and him as your pronouns, right? I use they and them as my pronouns. For trans and non-binary people, we often change our pronouns to reflect who we are when we come out and be who we are. So how does someone ask? How does somebody clarify that? Ethan, how would you, what's the best way? What's I, the most comfortable way? I think for me, um, to create a safe space for people to share their pronouns, I will say, hi, my name is Ethan. Uh, explain I that. As human beings, we have a sex, male or female. That is a biological scientific fact. Now, gender is a linguistic term. Words have gender. People don't. You're saying that... Right. 
don't get your own pronouns, just like you don't get your own prepositions or your own, your own adjectives. You know, it's like if I... So here's the thing. So I do not define what a woman is because I do not identify as a woman. Womanhood. Just thank you for being here. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Dr. Dimbo, how do you feel those who oppose using pronouns are taking the wrong approach in this conversation? Well, why is it important for educators to teach about gender identity, gender presentation, and pronouns? Why, why do you think that's important? Because there, there is a difference. There is biological sex, and a lot of times people are conflating sex and gender. So there's biological sex, and then there's gender, and that's a social construct in the sense that... Bailey, how are you? Yeah, why is that? Uh... So, really? I'm just going to let you head on home and go because I'm not going to play. Is there anything I can say to fix this? I'm no. so sorry. I apologize that I offended you in any way, shape, or form. That was never my intention. Well, you certainly I... have. So, Christopher, if you'll take Bailey off, it's good to meet you, and I wish you well. I'm not doing this. Mac has been laid down. What was about to get me was the pausing between the farts and him talking. Those were about to get me. But it did it. Once again, J Rock comes out as triumphant on this Try Not to Laugh Challenge. Can you say the same? Where did you fail? Time step where you lost and why? If you lost, uh, share this video on your favorite social media platform, all right, and then drop a link of where you shared it, all right? But if NJ Rock means if you were somehow able to make it through this challenge without breaking, you got to type below that the smack was laid down, all right? Post your comments down below. Let J Rock know which thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed, the great one's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for my next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. If you smell, let's J-Rock.